Hi, I'm Shiromal Kure. I'm the chairman of Jetwing Hotels and Jetwing Travels. Uh, I'm quite happy to be here today in this program of Ask Me. I hope you all will begin to know me a little bit better. Okay, let's kick off the program today by asking we are getting through the first segment of the program, uh, actually me. Hi, Shroma. Hi. What is something that hurts you? Um, it hurts when people say uh, things that you never even dreamt about. Then people say uh, negative things about not just me, but people I love and care. Yeah, that hurts me. What is one lesson you wish you could teach yourself? Uh, to keep my mouth shut because I have a habit of uh, saying things spontaneously without thinking. Uh, so that gets me into trouble. So I hope I can just keep it shut. Do you work hard or do you work smart? Um, I work hard, but I think I also work smart. So it's a combination of both, I would say. Smart and hard. What is the best professional advice you've ever received? I guess from my dad, many years ago, he said, uh, there's no one to motivate you. You have to motivate yourself. Uh, the team expects you to uh, motivate them, you know, pat them on their back and say you've done a good job but there's no one to tell you that. So he would always tell me you have to motivate yourself and that's sometimes hard thing to do. What is the best way to run a meeting? So my style is I ask people questions, I, I ask, I get their feedback and then I try to summarize it and of course I try to decide uh, what I think is best for that question. What was the toughest business challenge you ever had to confront? I think when uh, I see, I'm in the travel and tourism industry. So when uh, there was a time when uh, the government of Sri Lanka asked all tourists to leave the country. So there was nothing happening and we had so many staff in our payroll. So we were able to economize but keep the uh, team intact. So that was a tough decision. Is there an incident that influenced your way of thinking? I don't think so. Maybe it's my general upbringing because my dad was a, he was a, uh, somebody, he was, he was a radical. He idolized uh, Fidel Castro. Like for example, to him a house was a roof above your head and a vehicle was just four wheels to get you from A to B. Uh, that kind of thinking uh, kind of motive, uh, molded me and my brother. Do you think you could name something without which your day would be incomplete? Definitely, every day I would uh, spend some time uh, with my prayers, with the spiritual aspect, yes. What does a typical weekend look like for you? It depends. I don't think I really have a typical weekend. What are you allergic to? Uh, not food, but I think to people who are uh, kind of, uh, they, they don't want to say what they want to say to you, to your face. They don't have the backbone, but they will like, stab you behind your back. I think I'm allergic to that. What do you say the most? Um, I say, really? I say... What is your go-to beverage? I guess water. I'm quite a boring person. I like, I like drinking water. What is your bathroom jam? Um, I, I'm not a singer, so I, I don't sing. Maybe it could be uh, Olu Pipila, which I like. What is one trait you look for in a new employee? We are in the uh, hospitality business, so attitude is very important, kind of humble, they're not arrogant, uh, you know, they, are, they, they can get on with people, so I would think attitude uh, is, is what I what we look at. Describe your lifestyle in one word. Simple. What is your go anywhere, do anything fantasy? Um, I love traveling, so anywhere, the wilds or the beach, I would love doing that. Do you think you could sing us as a part of your favorite song? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not, a, I'm not a singer, sorry. Where is your go-to holiday destination? I would think New Zealand, uh, the South, South Island, so New Zealand. What do you recognize as your building blocks? The team that we have uh, at the Jetwing, both at Hotels and Travels, they're exceptionally uh, good. Um, so I think uh, with them, there's so many things we can build. Uh, so I would think all of them are a huge uh, asset to us. What's the scariest thing you've ever done? No, maybe 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 a ride, uh, ride, a Disney ride. You know where I I remember one where I thought I'm going to get my uh, neck chopped off. Yeah, that was scary. When are you the most confident? Behind my desk at office. When was the last time you defined gravity? Well, I guess. Uh, 
this, allowing my son to uh, follow his passion. He was, he was very good at, at school, he was, he was good in his studies and everybody said he should be, you know, the teachers all told me you should encourage him to become an engineer or a doctor. But his passion was in music and singing, dance, uh, singing and drama. So that was, that was uh, a decision we had to take which went against normal norms. Can you name one thing, big or small, that you've never told anyone else? You know, I think I've told, people know that I hate people who don't have a backbone, but maybe I haven't told it out openly. But uh, even in office, when I see people who, uh, who just don't want to say, I know they want to say something, but they just don't have the guts to say it. And it really makes me angry. When you're feeling super lazy, what's your guilty pleasure Netflix show? No, I don't have Netflix. What is an app that changed the world according to you? No, nothing comes to my mind. What's the first thing you do in the morning? I, I would either pray or I'd go for a walk. What is a change you'd like to bring about in society? I don't fancy myself. I don't think I'm somebody who can bring about change in, in that sense. But I would like to see corruption that even the private sector kind of encourages completely out. Uh, yeah, that's something I'd like to be able to do if I could. What's your favorite personal quote? Um, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. What would you never do as a CEO or RMD? Um, never embarrass or humiliate somebody in front of others. If I need to uh, talk to somebody or pull someone up, I would always talk to them personally. I'll never do it in public. What is your secret vice? Um, chocolates. If you could rewrite your past, what's one thing you'd change? Maybe, okay, maybe I've always wanted to work uh, in a bar. I had this, you know, fantasy growing up that I was going to wear this short skirt and stand behind a bar and, you know, just, I don't know, maybe from the movie. So that's something I wanted, but I don't think it's silly now. It's, it sounds so silly. What would be your life as a hashtag be? Happy, happy mama. What is your retirement plan? I want to write books. Um, that's, that's one of my secret uh, passions. So I'd like to start writing books about people, about gen life in general, and also, of course, travel. Uh, so many places to see um, and, and read. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? Um, not really. I mean, it's something that can happen anytime. Um, yeah, I'm okay to die when I take my time. But I hope I don't have to suffer uh, the last stages, but I'm prepared to drop dead anytime. What brings out the inner child in you? Movies. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I, I like movies. Being with my friends, perhaps. Yeah, that, that my, being with my close, my school friends brings out the inner child. What's the hardest thing mentally you've ever done or been through? Losing my dad. Uh, that was quite hard uh, because uh, as kids, my brother and I were quite close to him. Uh, so, yeah, seeing him in the last 24 hours, not even 24 hours, maybe 18 hours, was, was difficult. What do you do when you're angriest? Scream, shout. What's the best part about your job? I guess meeting, uh, dealing with people. I mean, uh, the fact that I can, uh, I feel by providing somebody a holiday, we, we change that, we, we give that person uh, some happiness, some joy. Uh, so I feel that our teams, uh, we can change a person's life even during that short period. So that that I enjoy. What was your first vehicle? An old, well, not sorry, it, it was a Lancer. Who or what was your first love? Uh, somebody in uh, whom I've known for a long time as, as a kid. Uh, yeah, so that was a boy from my childhood. Who is your style icon? I don't have... I mean, I'm not a stylish kind of a person, so I don't also have icons in that sense. Um, no, I don't think I have any icons. If tomorrow was your last day on Earth, what would you do in the last 24 hours? I guess uh, go to a spa, uh, pamper myself, have a nice bowl of ice cream, and uh, maybe put in all the other sauces and everything that I can have. Uh, maybe go to church, uh, see my mom, um, hug my son and say bye to Ajit. If you had to describe yourself in three words, what would they be? Not diplomatic, friendly, simple. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun. Uh, I expected it to be much worse, but it's been good. It's been interesting. 
and uh, yeah, some of the questions I hadn't even thought of, and th which is why I couldn't even under answer some of the questions. But yeah, it was it was good. It was nice. I enjoyed. It. So we are here now for our second segment, Who Am I? Hopefully you will know who I am at the end of it. Right, so let's start. Where was Shiromal Kure? Born uh, in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Who is Shiromal Kure? I'm just a human being. I uh, work at Jetwing. Uh, I've been working there for the past two decades. Um, and it's a, it's a fantastic uh, place. And I enjoy be working there. Where did Shiromal Kure? School. Uh, I schooled at St. Bridget's most of my life and for one year I was at Holy Family Convent. The Dashi Romal Kure have siblings. Yeah, I have one brother, uh, Hiran. He's younger than me and he's also working with me. So what is Shri Romal Kure's dearest possession? I think uh, a bangle given to me by my grandma. Where are Shri Romal Kure's parents from? Uh, they're from Sri Lanka. One is from Avisavela and the other one is from Nikambo. Um, is Shiromal Kure a charismatic leader? I hope I am, but I, <coughs> I can't say that, can I? How did Shiromal Kure achieve international business status? Um, I don't think we have achieved international business status, but we do work with international companies, so that's about it. Who's, who is Shiromal Kure's biggest corporate challenge? I, there is no individual or a company that I look at as a challenge or a competitor. Uh, to me, just doing what we are doing better and better because there's so much more that we can do and so much, uh, in so many improvements we can do. So that's the challenge. Does Shiromal Kure believe in a power team? Yeah, I, I do believe in a power team and I also believe that at Jetwing we do have a fabulous team which really helps us to be who we are today. What was Shiromal Kure's first job? Uh, my first job was as an audit trainee at Ernst & Young Company. Uh, soon as I finished work, I was there for about a an year and I, uh, I think I got 100, 100 rupees a month back then. But it really helped me uh, set the foundation. What annoys Shiromal Kure the most? I think I answered this before as well. Uh, what annoys me is people who don't really have a backbone to say something or stand up for something. Um, I have people whom I've known for a long time who just don't have the guts to come and tell me something to my face, but they would tell uh, maybe my brother or my friend or, you know, and I, I feel so sad that I have to even deal with such people. So that really annoys me. Okay, so is, is Shiromal Kure uh, a good boss? Uh, I don't know, I think it depends. Some think I am, some obviously think I don't. Uh, I like to believe I am, yeah, I don't know. Who is Shiromal Kure's backbone? I think my faith, uh, as I said, I'm, I, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Uh, so that faith really gives me a lot of strength and uh, has seen me through a lot of dark days. How influential is Shiromal Kure at Jetwing? If I'm honest, I guess I am influential because after all, my brother and I run the company. So yeah, I think I am fairly influential. Um, what is Shiromal Kure's uh, favorite genre of music? Uh, pop, I like listening to light pop. Our favorite singers right at the moment is Ed Sheeran. To, to the horror of my son, I like Ed Sheeran. Uh, is Shiromal Kure psychic? <laughs> no, I'm not. I wish I was, uh, but I'm not. What is Shiromal Kure's vision? Um, I just like Jetwing to be the best uh, Sri Lankan hospitality provider in, in the country. We have lots of international brands coming to Sri Lanka, but Jetwing can stand out among them and be the truly Sri Lankan company. Um, does Shiromal Kure work out? Yeah, well, work out meaning I do, I, I walk every day, uh, well, at least three, four times a week, I walk in the in a in a park. Does Shiromal Kure believe in fate? Well, I suppose. I well, when you say fate, yeah, I think all of us 
when we are born, there's a plan, God, there's a plan for all of us. So I guess that's fate. Uh, but we can also perhaps do something about it. We can't say this is my fate and just let things happen. We can, we can try to change them. So I think it's a combination of both. What is Shiromal Kure's definition of power, power dressing? To me, I, I think it depends on the occasion. Uh, I prefer to wear a sari whenever I'm going in for an important meeting. Uh, because, uh, yeah, so to me, I, I don't believe in wearing Western suit, uh, you know, jackets and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, if it's a formal occasion, I would wear a sari. Is Shiromal Kure's Kure a good MD? Uh, I'd like to believe that and I hope my team says that. Uh, I don't know. Can Shiromal Kure speak three languages? Yeah, I, I speak Singhal and English fluently. I also speak French, a little bit of French. What is Shiromal Kure's forte? I think I like uh, telling stories. So a lot of people, even in my team, I, I try to tell them stories. So I guess, yeah, I like telling things to people. Um, how long has Shiromal Kure been in the business? Now almost uh, 25 years uh, in, at Jetway. Is Shiromal Kure emotional? Yeah, very much so, unfortunately. I don't want to be, but I do get emotional. Uh, has Shiromal Kure ever been bullied? Yeah, I remember in school, I uh, can't remember for what, but I, I think I have been bullied. How does Shiromal Kure react to stress? I actually, somebody asked me this question, but I can't, I don't consider having stress because I, maybe I don't take life too seriously. Um, so as a result, I don't think I do have stress or maybe I have it and I don't recognize it. Uh, but if I have any, any, any issue or if something is troubling me, I would, uh, I would go to church and I'll pray or I'll just, you know, I know it just goes over because I believe in the thing that this too shall pass, everything passes. So yeah, I'm generally not worried about too, worried too much about anything. Uh, what is Shiromal Kure's worst habit? I think uh, telling, being honest and telling things to people to their face, which is really bad. Uh, I think I have upset a lot of people. My brother always tells me, you know, you have said this, and why did you tell this? And you know, they're upset and they don't, you know, they don't know how to react. So yeah, so that's, that's a bad habit. Is Shiromal Kure proud? I don't think so, but I don't know. I think others should tell me that. Yeah, that was really fun. Uh, this this segment was was very interesting uh, because it uh, made me think. Uh, so yeah, it was fun. So we are here now for our final segment. Never have I ever. Never have I ever wanted to be one of the Kardashians. Certainly not. Never have I ever set mine or someone else's house on fire. Nope. Never have I ever secretly wished I were a wizard at Hogwarts. <laughs> Never have I ever had a nightmare about zombies chasing me. <laughs> Never have I ever sung karaoke. I have. Uh, quite bad, but then I was with somebody at some other people and uh, so I, my voice wasn't really heard, but it was fun though. Never have I ever played wall and wall. I have. Never have I ever apologized and not meant it. Never have I ever missed a high five. I think I have been regretted later, not doing it. Never have I ever faked being sick. I have. Never have I ever sung in the shower. Well, I have. Never have I ever worn sleepwear and pretended it was clothing. I think I have. Never have I ever been so scared of a horror movie that I couldn't sleep. I have. Um, the exorcist, I could just feel my bed being flown away and yeah, that was, it was really not a horror movie but then it, it did scare me. Never have I ever pretended to laugh at a joke I didn't get. I have. Very often I don't get jokes but I see everybody laughing and I think oh my god I don't want to be this horrible person so I just, just laugh. Never have I ever won a game of Scrabble. I have. Mainly with my son though when he was small. 
<laughs> Never have I ever made a duck face when taking a selfie. I have. Never have I ever thought a cartoon character was hot. Yeah, I don't think it. Never have I ever reread an email immediately after sending it. Oh, I have. Never have I ever looked out the car's passenger seat window and imagined it was a scene from a movie. Um, I have, especially the mountains in New Zealand. And they're, they're so beautiful and I always think it's like a movie. Never have I ever Googled my own name. Oh, I have. Uh, not bad, actually. There are lots of, I mean, for example, interviews like this generally come up. Uh, whatever is either written or visual come up. So, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's fun. Never have I ever tried something I saw on Pinterest. Uh, I think I have. Never have I ever ugly cried for no reason. Yeah, I haven't. Never have I ever creeped on someone I just met on social media. No. Never have I ever cheated on a lover. No, no I haven't. Never have I ever bragged about my achievement. Uh, I don't think I have, but I, I hope not. Never have I ever doubted my heterosexuality. Never. Never have I ever done an underwater handstand. <laughs> Never. Never have I ever stalked an ex on social media. No. Never have I ever stuck gum under a chair. I have, sadly. Never have I ever lied to my parents about being hungover. Never have I ever been in love with the former love of my best friend. No, never. Never have I ever made a prank call. Oh, I have. Actually, that was with one of my friend's uh, boyfriends. So she was quite adamant that he was having an affair. So I pretended to be this girl and I had to make this call and I felt so bad after that, but it was fun. Never have I ever forged my parents' signature. Never have I ever ruined someone's first dance. No, I don't. Never have I ever gone surfing. Never. Never have I ever got stitches. Oh, I have. I've had surgery. Yeah, I've had... Uh, um, I fell when I was working in Hong Kong and then I fell and I hurt my uh, liver. So I had to undergo two uh, operations to get that done. So I have stitches, yeah. Never have I ever accidentally sent someone to the hospital. No. Never have I ever fallen in love at first sight. No. Never have I ever cried in public. Oh, I have. Never have I ever had a treehouse. I have. Never have I ever been on a fad diet. Never. Never have I ever been on a safari ride. Oh, I have. And I love safaris. I love going in Sri Lanka overseas. Never have I ever gone scuba diving. I have because my partner is a diver. So I've done once only though. Never have I ever been to a fashion show. I have. But I don't really enjoy because I don't understand it, but I just watch it. So, yeah, it's fun. Never have I ever driven through red lights. I have. Never have I ever accepted a lift from a total stranger. Never have I ever tried bathing in a fountain. No. Never have I ever lied in this game. In this game, no. Yeah, so I enjoyed the last half an hour here. It was really fun because th some, most of the questions were things that I'd never even thought of. So it made me think which was good. Uh, so it was interesting and uh, thought-provoking, I would think. And I hope you enjoy uh, listening to it.